Hello, this is Revoxa Life with me, Dr. E.B. Welcome. Today, I would like to present a short video on one of the side effects of radiation therapy in the treatment of breast cancer, and that is folliculitis. I alluded to the development of folliculitis in my last video, as a reaction to radiation therapy to the breast. Folliculitis I defined as literally an inflammation that is caused by radiation therapy of the follicles of the skin, okay? And when that occurs, it can manifest as an itchy rash. In medical terms, we call that pruritus. So if you see that on the internet or your doctor mentions pruritus, that's what it means. It's just itchy, okay? When patients develop folliculitis, that is this itchy rash, there are several interventions that I recommend. One is over-the-counter, and that is hydrocortisone cream. Extra strength will suffice, I recommend applying it only to the area of concern, and that is only to the area that itches, okay? If the folliculitis, if the itching is not responding to over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream, then I will provide my patients with a prescription for diproline, otherwise known as bethamethasone, and that is really a steroid cream. It's just prescription obtained. And therefore, there are several strengths available. I usually start with 0.05% diproline, again, otherwise known as bethamethasone. I usually combine diproline with Bactroban, and that is because where I trained at Sloan Kettering, that was the regimen used for folliculitis. The rule of thumb is B before D, so you would apply the Bactroban before the Diproline. Some of my colleagues prescribe another steroid cream instead of Diproline. It is called Memethazone. It is just as effective. Again, it is obtained by prescription. Another concoction or amalgamation that works well I have found with my patients is actually over the counter and it's Neosporin with pain relief. You can procure Neosporin with pain relief at Walmart or CVS. Most pharmacies will carry Neosporin with pain relief. And here's the reason I mentioned this. Whenever you have an area of itching or pruritus, as we say in medical terms, Applying pain relief actually numbs the area so that the itching is not as prominent. And then you can actually apply an over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream in addition to the pain relief. The other reason I mentioned this neosporin concoction is because you can actually also obtain over-the-counter neosporin, anti-itch, pain relief, and anti-scar. All of those are available. Again, not in every pharmacy, but it actually is available in most. And so Walmart, again, CVS, Walgreens, you can apply the combination neosporin, pain relief, anti-itch, and sometimes it's also combined with an anti-scar component to the area of folliculitis. So to review, folliculitis can develop 
when you're undergoing radiation therapy, it manifests on the skin as an itchy rash, medical terms, pruritus, okay? And it is addressed by usually over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream, extra strength will suffice, or ask your physician to prescribe a steroid cream that is not available over-the-counter. One example is diproline. I usually combine Bactroban with diproline, okay? B before D, apply the Bactroban, then apply the diproline. You can also obtain mimetazone. That is also a prescription. Uh, you can also obtain Neosporin pain relief or Neosporin pain relief anti-itch or Neosporin pain relief anti-itch anti-scar. The latter, that is the Neosporin pain relief plus anti-itch or plus anti-scar can be obtained over the counter. It does not preclude the application of all the other either hydrocortisone creams or steroid creams I just mentioned. It can add, however, to the effect. It can alleviate the itching by numbing the area so that the itching is not as prominent. That is it for now on the side effects of breast cancer. Short course, crash course, but thorough on folliculitis and how we treat folliculitis as a side effect of radiation therapy. I hope this was quite helpful. And next time I will be answering other common questions that my patients ask at consultation or on Find the Top Talk where any questions that I think that if not addressed, that you should ask your doctor. Okay, thank you for listening. Until next time, Revoxa Life with Dr. Evie.